hi guys welcome back to my channel the secret world of elba if you're new here welcome and if you have been subscribed to me then welcome back you guys for today's video i'm going to be reviewing glam lights new collection which sneak peek looks like this and this is what i was able to create for you guys i am in love i don't want to ramble too much i just want to say if you're new here welcome and i wanted to show you guys my new nails okay ex ex ignore this one because this one kind of just got messed up but um yeah they look like this and they have some red in the back and um yeah you guys uh i am super excited for you guys to see how i created this look a little bit of a step by step um and yeah don't forget to like this video share this video and help me get to 10k please 10k what am i saying to 4k please 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 and um yeah if you want to see how i got this look then let's get started are you guys so for today's look i'm actually going to be reviewing the whole glam light collection you guys i came through for you i ain't lying i bought the whole collection and look at the packaging that the palette came in like isn't this just so freaking cute oh my god I'm like look at this palette you guys it is so gorgeous all right so i'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible i already did this eye off camera just because y'all know i do an ig video too usually my makeup looks are up on my um instagram way before they hit here on youtube but you guys like this palette is so gorgeous so gorgeous okay so we're gonna get started and i'm gonna try to do this as quickly as possible because it is late here and uh, i don't know why i decided to play with makeup so late you guys know that my eyebrows are uh permanent so i don't do anything but brush them and put some clear brow gel to settle down all these pillows and you guys, I'm stained from this Halloween look that I did. I did not record it for you guys because quite honestly, I didn't know what the heck I was creating, okay? I had no idea. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I did a like butterfly, like half butterfly skull type of thing. I'm not very artistic in that sense, you guys. I'm going to just start off with some Jeffree Star Cosmetics Concealer in C13 just to kind of clean up my brow bone. Nothing gray gray. Just to give it a little bit of definition. But yeah, you guys, my, like, this entire side of my eye was, like, super stained. Hopefully... I'm taking a dry beauty sponge and I'm just dabbing pretty much that concealer. Y'all know. Okay. Just like that. Now I'm going to take another JSC concealer and this is in shade C0. And this is the white. I'm not going to take too much. Mm -mm. all right i'm gonna use my middle finger to kind of just put some of that around i always have a cloth here next to me you guys just to clean as i go my contact lenses are from joanne's beauty lens in the color Vicious, they're so beautiful and they're actually very comfortable. Okay, for this look, I want to be very precise, therefore, I am actually going to be using tape. You can use any tape, I'm gonna use some scotch tape. I'm gonna take it 
put it in the back of my hand to remove some of that stickiness. All right, guys, I'm gonna put it in sort of an angle because I do want that wide eye. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna start off by taking a JS a Morphe JS12 Morphe times a Jeffree Star um, small blending brush and I'm gonna start by taking the color black cherry and you guys this palette has almost absolutely no fallout it is so bomb all right guys hopefully my camera will not die on me okay so we're gonna start by putting that color sort of like in a circle half circle above the crease this is my crease I'm going above the crease as well Okay. And I like to stamp and then swipey motions as I go. So stamp and then swipey motions. So we're going to apply our product and we're going to blend as well. Okay, you guys I have a makeup shack t88 brush here a big blending brush with no product I have my BH cosmetics absorb sponge here and I'm gonna just lightly blend this edge okay. just lightly and then I'm going to take this Morphe M562 brush. Looks like this. I'm going to clean it. And I'm going to take the color Raspberry. So let me show you guys really quickly. So I started off with this shade. Now I'm moving on to this shade. And I'm going to put it right at the top. To just blend. Give it some definition, you know. I like this little brush because you know you can be very detailed okay with that same brush you're going to wipe it and I'm gonna take mochi which is this shade here that baby pink and I'm gonna put it right on top just to blend everything together and I'm blending in swiping motions Okay. I'm gonna go back to my first brush with black cherry and I'm gonna deepen that out all the way and we are going to be cutting the crease so y'all already know okay I'm gonna take that same uh, makeup shack brush and I'm just going to blend there's no product okay I'm just like that all right and I'm gonna blend them okay 
so pretty look at this you guys these shades i'm gonna go back in with the same brush that we took black cherry with i'm not adding any product I'm just going over it. Remember, I don't want to lose that. And I'm only blending up here. Okay. Now that you have that, you are going to go in with... Let's see. Let's see this. You are then going to go in with JS13 from the Morphe and Jeffree Star collection. And I'm actually going to take Butter Pecan, show you. It's a nice brick, orange brick here. And we are going to put that one right on our crease. Right there. In swiping motions again. We're trying to keep this look um, very precise, so swiping motions will definitely keep us that way and again we're keeping this right in our crease I'm gonna take this T63 brush with Butter Pecan and still keep it in my crease. If you guys want to purchase some bomb ass um, brushes, the Makeup Shack has really bomb brushes. Now usually the brush sets are always sold out, however, you can get specific bomb ass brushes. Okay, once you have that, I am going to clean my brush, my JS13, and I'm actually going to go in with chocolate right here. I want to deepen that crease. Again, I'm swiping motions just like that see how we see a lot of that dimension I know it looks crazy right now but you always gotta trust that process okay I'm gonna go in with the Oh, sorry, wrong brush. With the Makeup Shack brush, and I'm just going to go over it. And then swiping motions. We're going to blend that. Okay. With my big fluff brush from the Makeup Shack as well, we're going to be taking no product and we're going to be blending okay now we're going to cut the crease and i'm gonna be using the first brush, which is this Morphe E38 brush, it's a nice fine pencil brush. I'm going to still be using that C13 shade from JSE, put some on the back of my hand. You guys, I really like his concealers to cut creases just because they're so movable and I mean, you don't have a problem with them, honestly. Okay, I'm going to try to match as much as possible that first cut crease. Okay. 
and then the reason why I am not using my regular P. Louise brush for the moment is because I want to be a little precise. Okay, now that you have that, I'm going to take a Q-tip, wet it with some Meissler water. Sorry that I keep my eyes closed, I just don't want to mess up the look. Okay. And I'm going to clean that excess makeup with my Q-tip. Just like that. I take the dry side. Okay. Now I will go in with my P. Louise brush. Just make sure you keep its shape. I have some product here. And you're going to start stamping that same shape. All over and take the beauty blender for the beauty sponge and just tap. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. You see that? So pretty. Okay. Now I'm gonna take I'm going to take shades mint chocolate and green tea. Show you. I'm going to take these two and I'm going to start with the lightest here to darkest here. And we're going to try to keep some space between the cut crease and the shadow so that we can put our glitter. Be patient. So pretty, huh? So pretty. Alright, you guys. So I'm back. I had to cut the crease off camera because... <sighs> my camera memory was full. But anyways, now we are going to set our concealer. I'm going to be using a Morphe brush. It's just a flat, thin brush. And I'm going to be taking Taro, which is this really nice purple is this really nice purple shot <laughs> And you guys, I've said it before, I will continue to say it. Always take your time with your looks because that's what's going to define it. I'm gonna go in this first glitter line with Goldaholic from PS Girls Only. If you guys are not following them, I don't know what you are waiting for. Follow them. Celeste is a bomb, bomb. And she is super sweet as well. So I am now going to be putting glitter 
between the shadow the uh, both shadows okay and remember the glitter should only be sticking to that glitter line so if you are Sometimes I feel like this eye always looks better than this eye. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm also going to be doing my face off camera. Mm -hmm. Because I don't want to make this video too long. And I still got to swatch for you guys the other goodies. You know what I just realized? That I could have used lashes. From this collection I totally forgot I will use them next time you guys know I love my Sasuke Beauty lashes in the style heavenly I just feel like these complete any and every look like I feel like I'm not myself when I do a look and I'm not wearing my my heavenlies I just I feel so incomplete like I'm not myself I feel like the look isn't popping so you guys already know I've showed you guys this on plenty of videos I'm just cutting the tips because those are uncomfortable and they're itchy so I just cut them now I'm just going to put some dual lash glue Okay, you guys, I'm going to do my face off camera and I shall be back. I'm going to do my face to, to finish this look because I'm not going anywhere. So, I'll be back. Alright, so that's basically the look. Now, for lips, I want to do something neutral. And I'm going to be doing this cute brown one. I don't know if these are... Oh, how cute is this? It even has a mirror. I don't know if this is matte, though. This is chocolate. It actually smells like chocolate. This is kind of like a dupe for Leo from Jeffree Star. This is definitely a dupe for Leo. I really love this applicator because you can be actually very precise. Be careful, you're gonna get hurt. Oh, mijo. Wow. Alright, guys, so shade chocolate is on my lips. Now let me put some of that glitter. You guys, this is how cute is this? Like, so super cute. Like, so cute. I actually got another one. 
and I'm actually going to give this one away so if you would love to win this just leave a comment like this video share this video follow me on IG if you're not already okay this glitter is a little too thick for my liking but it is super cute so that's what the the chocolate collection looks like let me show you guys the other goodies so I do get three lashes how cute is this like look at this so these ones are in um, taco lashes so this is what the taco lashes look like so pretty i can't believe i forgot i had these i could have used them for my look and then these are the cookies and cream lashes and they don't feel plasticky so i'm assuming these are like good lashes and then we have the sandwich lashes which look like this super super cute and then we get three um ice creams which are actually glosses. We have caramel. Wow, caramel looks freaking beautiful. I want this on my lips. Oh yeah, I love this one. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, so we have caramel. We have strawberry just like a really pretty nude let's see so it looks like this there we go and last but not least we have cookies and cream which is a nice chocolate with glitters that is so pretty yeah, super pretty. You guys, I've never, ever, ever used anything from this collection. So I'm like shook because not only were they affordable, but like they're bomb. Like you guys, this palette is the cutest palette ever. Definitely I used a good amount of shades. This palette still looks freaking amazing. I mean, I can do so many looks with that palette. It's ridiculous. I am in love, you guys. In love. I would definitely recommend that if you can get your hands on any of these items from Glam Light, then I suggest that you do. It is amazing amazing okay um i want to give a huge 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 shout out to my girl that put me on this and um oh i forgot her name i forgot her name but her ig is dollface nanny and girl shout out to you to you because you were the one that you know asked to you know look out for this and purchase it if i could and let you know what i thought about it i love this love the brand i know they have so many other ones and they're super cute like i think there's like a taco palette i think too there's so many but this collection by far i love it it is so me so me and um yeah you guys that is going to basically conclude today's i look and um review i have nothing bad to say about this the only thing that i don't like which you guys already know because i don't use the jeffree star either the jeffree star ones either is a sticky gloss um you guys know uh, my ride or die is my rich richie rich by um sugar lips shop but um other than that everything else is beautiful so don't miss out and then also you guys please let me bring you guys out a little bit there we go please help me get to 4k subscribers please you guys have no idea what's in store for you guys i'm gonna leave the link somewhere here or here so y'all can see um some of what 
I'm talking about. And um, yeah, you guys, with that being said, um, that is going to conclude today's video slash review slash tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video.